Jazz guitar enthusiasts around the world, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. Welcome to my Embraceable You guitar lesson chord melody style. You can download all the lesson material like tabs and the backing track from the link down below in the description, the description box. Please also visit my lesson shop guitarversum.com for more lesson material like this one. And now let's get Embraceable You under your fingers. We are in the key of E flat major and we have an A, B, A, C song form. Each of these sections is 8 bars long, so we have a total of 32 bars again, like with the standard song form. And we started with the first phrase and that's 6 bars long, okay? We have an E flat 6 here, that's 6, 5, 5, 4 in a 4 strings. And we start with the bass string, the A string, and then the A, D and G strings together. And with jazz ballads, I arpeggiate the strings. Look at my right hand, like, I go like. So that sounds a lot softer. Then we go over to the third of the B string, and then the fourth of the B string. Then we have a G flat diminished chord. That's a G flat here in the second. Then we have one, two, one. I play the bass first again, and then all four strings. Then the third of the B string, and the fourth of the B string. Now we have a 2-5, F minor, first and the first, first, first of the upper three strings ring together, okay? You can bar this or play it like this, doesn't really matter. Then the B flat on the third of the G string. Flat 7 with an A flat in bass. I play that inversion because it uh, has the D melody on top that I, ah, uh, sorry, the B flat melody on top that I need, need. So we have the fourth fret here, the third, and the third. Don't play up until the B string. I play that once, all three strings together, and then just the G string. So we have. Next we play that B flat 7 again and now we have to fill up a whole bar, okay? And I do that with the following thing. I play that and then I, I go through the strings one by one until the uh, B string, uh, sorry, G string. So that's four eight notes, one and two and. And now I put in a two five one. That's not written in the chord sheet, but that's how you can 
fill up your space by adding it two five one two fives that lead us to the next chord, the F minor. And the two five of the F minor is G half diminished, so that's three 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 two. And then I play that G string again, and then I. The, the five chord would be a C7 chord. I play the tritone substitute, and that's the G flat seven flat five. That's two, two, three, one, and back to the G string. All right, so I have. And that's a nice fill. By the way, uh, tr uh, try to play a not swung, swing. Swinged, swunked? No, I don't know. No swing eight notes, but even eight notes, okay? So it's three and four and. And now we're back to the F minor chord on the first fret. I play the E string and the D and the G string simultaneously. And then the high E string follows. Third of the E string and the fourth of the E string. A flat minor six. That's uh, the A flat here on the fourth, three and four. Then bend, uh, stretch over to the sixth fret of the E string, and go two upwards to the B flat thirteen, six, six, seven, eight. And then you go to the ninth fret, and in the next phrase we're gonna have the resolution. Okay. Now I'm gonna play everything for you. The first, uh, first phrase at slow tempo. Three, four. And here are the last two bars of the A1 section and we start with the E flat again but this time we're up on the 11th fret for an E flat 6 9 chord that's 11 here's the E flat 10 10 11 all right and then I go down to the fourth fret of the B string and after that the whole B flat 9 sus 4 chord follows that's the 5 chord so we have a uh, 6 6 of D 5 4 Okay, and I'll play the B string again, so. And now back to the E flat 6 that we already know. And then the G string. And now I do a little fill to get to the uh, B section. And I add a D half diminished chord and a G altered chord because that leads me to the first chord of the B section, which is going to be a C minor. So that's a 2, 5, one in the key of C minor, okay? And so what I do is from that E flat six, oh sorry, I add in a line, a little filler lick, three, five, three, hammer pull, five of the D, and now I slide into the chord and our patch at the chord, six, five, six, six, five, six, and I don't even play the root because I play the flat five, which is part of the chord, to lead me, to take me to the five chord, the G seven sharp five. And I arpeggiate that. That's three, three, four, four, okay? So that whole bar is... Those are 16 notes, right? It starts with eight notes, one and... 16 notes and 16 notes. All right, so here's the whole thing slowly. Three, four. If you're into chord melody playing, please check out my chord melody starter pack with five easy song arrangements for best value. Welcome to the B section. Here are the first four bars. Here's the resolution, the C minor seven chord. Three, five, three, four, three. We play the bass first, and then I strum over through all five strings slowly. You can also do that with your thumb 
or with us. If you use a pick only, do it very quietly. Then we play the B string on the fourth, sixth, and back to fourth. Now we have a 2 5 in the key of G minor, and that's A half diminished. I take advantage of the open A string, then I play the A here on the seventh fret, and after D string, an 8 8 of G and B. All together, then a G string. Now D7 sharp 9, 5 4 5 6. Then I let go of this and I bar the chord so I get the fourth fret of the B string. Play that alone on its own. And here's the resolution the G minor chord 3 and the upper three uh, fret, the upper three frets strings, the upper three strings on the third fret. Here we go. <laughs> All right, um, and then a B string. Then a E string for fill and the D and G strings for fill. Make sure that you can tell the difference between what's melody and what's a fill, okay? So here we have the melody tones. That's the melody. And now we have the fill. Play that quieter. Now the melody, I slide into the third of the B string. You can also play it still lying here. But I like to play it extra, usually. And then I shape the C minor 9 chord around it. 3, 1, 3, 3 in the 4 strings. And then I have a little bass line that takes me to the 5 chord, the F7. So that's 3 of the E string, 2, 1. And then I shape the rest of that F13 chord. That's 1, 2, 3. Right, here's the entire phrase number 3 at slow tempo. 3, 4. And here are the last four bars of the uh, B section. We start, of course, with the resolution from that uh, 2 5 1. Here is the one chord, that's B fat major 7. 1 3 2 3 1. And I strum through all the five strings. Then the B string. Now the sixth chord, a G7 sharp 5. I glide over there. 3 3 4 4. And I go to the third of the B string, back to the fourth, and I play the C minor seven. Three, one, three, four. Then the first of the E string, you can keep being barred or just played extra. Then we have the five chord F thirteen nine. No root. Here would be the root. We start on one of the D string. Two, three, three. Go over to the 5, 5th fret, then the 6th fret, and shape an F minor 11 chord. 3, here's the root, 5, uh, 4, 6. 3rd of the G string, and B flat 7 with that A flat in bass that we already had. That's 4, 3, 3. And then the G string again. And now I have to fill up a whole bar, and I do that again. Uh, this time by playing a uh, mixolydian line. B flat 7 comes from the mixolydian scale, so that's the B flat mixo or E flat major scale. That's A flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D. And usually I play that with my ring finger and to, in order to shape an E9 chord around it. 7, 6, 7, 7 that is, and then I pick it, uh, each string again, that's the G string, D string and A string, and the E9 stands for B altered, so that's about the same thing, that's a tritone sub. So here's the entire phrase number 4 at slow tempo, 3, 4. All right.
right, we're back to the A section again. Please repeat phrase number one. Those are the first uh, six bars of the A section. And now we get to the second ending. And that's phrase number five. The last two bars we are E flat six, nine again. 11, 10, 10, 11. But now we go to the eighth fret of the G string and then a C minor seven. Eight, eight, eight up till the G string. And the G string again. So we have. And now we need a 2 5 that leads us to the C section. C section starts with an A flat major and a 2 5. Here's the 2 and here's the 5. B flat minor and E flat dominant. We need that E flat in uh, as a melody, so we have a B flat minor 11. 6 6 6 4. And then to fill the space up, I just pick in consecutive order and the E flat would be the five chord. I play a triton sub again. We have this already, but on a different in a different key. The triton sub of E flat seven is A7 flat five. So that's five of the E, five, six, four. And I pick in consecutive order again up to the G string to fill up the space. And that's it. Okay, here we go. Phrase five at slow tempo. Three, four. You can support this channel and help its uh, free video content running. And you can do so by clicking the join button right next to the uh, subscribe button to see the options, how you can support this channel and become a channel member. Thanks so much. And here's the C section. Phrase number six is the whole C section. It's just eight bars, actually six bars plus an ending chord. All right. We start with that resolution, A flat major seven. We start with the bass, A flat, fourth fret. I play that with my thumb because I need the other four strings now. That's five, five, four, six, A flat major nine, this is. Then we go to F minor seven, three, five, four, four. Here's the root. Then the third of the E string, you can keep bar being bar and then D half diminished, five, then the five of the G, don't play the D string, six of B and four of E, stretch over to the third of the E string, then D diminished, which stands for G7 flat nine, so that's a two five, D half diminished, actually this voicing, to G altered or D diminished, that's the same, five, six, four, six in a four strings, then lift your index and go stretch over to the third. Of course, you can lift everything up, but then it starts sounding like this. Try to stay on the things as long as possible, doing a little stretch. If it's not possible, of course, you can play it like this. And now we have a nice cliche line, descending movement from C minor to F, a 2-5. So we start with the C minor. I think you know this, uh, three, five, five, four, regular C minor, try it. Start with the bass, A string, then E in the four strings, then only the B string. And now the G string moves down one note every time. And if that ha if I move this down, I get a C minor major seven chord. So that's three, five, four, five now. Play all four strings and then three times of the uh, B string. So we have. Now this one goes one down. I just need to lift it to get a C minor seven. That's a regular C minor seven, but I don't fret it like this, but coming from this, I just need to um, lift this. C minor seven, the B string again, and the E string, right? And now we get to the F9 chord, and here's that A that we went down to. I just didn't want to play this F9, but this, because we need that melody. So that's eight, seven, eight, eight. And then I fill the chord up by just playing A, D, and G strings in consecutive order. 
and E flat major seven. Now the last two bar, uh, three bars, sorry. Six, eight, seven, eight. Bass string first, then the rest, or everything, actually. Then the sixth chord. We are in a cadence now. One, six, two, five. The sixth chord is C altered. That's uh, C seven sharp five. Eight, eight, nine, nine. Then the sixth of the E. Go one up and play F half diminished. That's the same as the D we had. Now we're on the F. Eight, eight, nine, uh, seven. Then the G string again leads us to B flat seven, six, six, seven. And the one chord is the E flat six that you know already. Six, five, five, four. Okay, here's the entire C section at slow tempo. Three, four. If you like this video please don't forget to give it a fat thumbs up so you help my channel grow and please check out my chord melody playlist and my other tutorials i hope to see you next week Ciao, bye bye